Here we have a PS5 Slim game console that came in for repair, and the console was mailed over to us in one million pieces. Um, I asked my supervisor to check the package. Um, she said that it was scanned. But they cannot tell where they left it, if they left it somewhere oh yeah, by mistake, we, right? We scan it. Sorry. But thank you for checking. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We ordered a donor key fob, and it showed that it arrived to our unit, but we never got it. A donor key fob to fix another customer's fob. It's not about the cost of the fob, just for the time, timing. Customer needs the fob, and we need that donor. It's a special type of advanced key fob, unlike all the ones that we fix. It has like three coils and uh, the keyless key fob. Anyway, I forgot where I was. We got a PS5 Slim game console with signs of liquid metal, okay? Customer said, referral YouTube. One of our tags has jumped the gun that the issue was the HDMI port and attempting to remove. There are still pieces of the HDMI port stuck in the motherboard and are not even sure the issue is the HDMI port. So why would you remove the HDMI connector if you're not sure the problem is the HDMI connector. It's very easy to tell if the problem is the HDMI connector, if the connector itself has physical damage, whether it's from the outside, the pin side, or inside the connector, then 99% chance the connector is good. Why remove a good connector if it's not physically damaged? It doesn't make sense. See, look at this. I do see signs of liquid metal here. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. I mean, the housing of the PS5 is filled with liquid metal. I do not know if this is factory liquid metal or if somebody attempted to add liquid metal. It may be factory. I do not see access. Let's recycle and reuse, right? We take whatever liquid metal we find on the board and we put it back on the CPU. But what I do is I apply alcohol because liquid metal binds better. You see how it forms into a blob when you add alcohol. And that's something I discovered a long time ago. I'm not a chemist. I do not know why that happens. But when you add alcohol, it binds. Just like a clarifier for a pool or phosphate remover for a pool. Phosphate remover will make all the phosphates in the pool bind together as lumps and the vacuum will just get rid of them. The filtration system and the vacuum will suck those lumps of combined phosphates and will remove it of the pool. Phosphates are food for algae. If you have phosphates in the pool, it's very likely that the pool is going to have algae problems. So the same goes here. When I apply alcohol, I'm able to make liquid metal roll as one blob so I can remove it. See, look. Any more liquid metal?
I did not look at the HDMI connector yet, and I do not know what type of mess we are working with. If that tech removed the HDMI connector, why didn't he replace it back? Look, he took out the connector and the legs are still stuck inside. He probably applied a lot of hot air and was not able to properly liquefy solder to remove those broken legs. I do not know if he is the one who broke them or if the connector was broken to begin with. Just making sure we do not have any more liquid metal, and we do not. So let's focus on the HDMI connector. Replacing an HDMI connector for a PS5, Xbox Series X, is easier said than done. It looks nice and easy on YouTube. Not only do you need good tools, good flux, good soldering iron, but it takes practice and skills. We're going to use low-melt solder. And low-melt solder is the trick here. Low-melt solder is the magic formula. I always mention it. Low-melt solder will lower the melting temperature of those joints. So we're going to saturate the holes with low melt. We're going to do the same here. Okay, so with low melt solder, I'm now able to push that leg down. Now we're going to flip the board and we're going to grab it from the back. And look at this, liquid metal, or not liquid metal, low melt solder is still liquid because it melts at a very low temperature. I'm going to use an F dot sucker, and I cannot use it under the microscope because it's too long. And we're going to suck everything inside the hole. Okay, let's check. Look at this. Look at this. The magic of low melt solder, right? We're going to pre-apply solder on those pads. Now look at this, we have a missing capacitor also. So by doing this, we got rid of unleaded, and we applied leaded solder. So we're going to solder a new cap. For those of you in the same type of business, or if you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase those caps off our site, along with all the tools that we are using on our bench here. Everything from this amazing microscope, which is currently on back order, but we are expecting a shipment end of June. Today we are June 20th. Hopefully by June 30, we should have those microscopes in. A lot of you are waiting for them. And I did mention in the last video, if you are waiting for our microscopes, buy it now because you're going to get the lower price. Once we have the scopes in, we're going to increase the price to compensate for the extra tariffs that we are paying. 
But to give you an incentive for back ordering now, you will still get the microscopes at the same price. Just log into northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you are ordering the microscope, then we will ship as soon as we have them back in stock. So PS5 and PS5 Slim connectors are the same. Now we pre-applied solder on the center pads, right? Now what we're gonna do is put the HDMI connector and we're gonna apply hot air. Solder will melt and the connector will settle down in place. I used this technique a long time ago maybe two or three years ago, and I've been using it since. Okay, you can tell, solder liquefied without burning the plastic. And if you are asking me, how do you do that? Apply hot air and not burn the plastic. Magic. It takes practice. You need to know how far you are from the board and you need to know when to pull out. Let's check pin by pin. Solid, solid. Solid. I'm not going to say solid for every single pin. But if I come across a loose pin, I'll mention. Every single pin is making a perfect connection. Ten times better than factory. Factory is machine made. This is handmade. I check the pins manually. I make sure every pin is making a good connection. We have the replacement capacitor soldered on nicely. And now we have to flip the board, solder the back. And I can tell you from now, the back is gonna be a mess because solder is gonna spread to everywhere you see copper. It doesn't matter. Or maybe I can add solder mask to make this as neat as possible. Okay, so we cannot possibly cover everything here, but I just covered around the rings so solder does not spill and make a mess. But even if it's spilled, it's not a problem, just for aesthetics. Because first impression does matter. You go to a job interview and you are wearing your pajamas, they're gonna kick you out even if you are the smartest person. Not me, right? If somebody comes and wanna apply for a job here at Northridge Fix, I care about their knowledge. Do you know how to fix? I do not care about your degree. I do not care where you have worked before. I wanna give you a motherboard to fix and I want you to fix it. Not everything is fixable, of course. But that person needs to know what he's doing. But we are programmed to think that if you do not have a degree, you're not going to be able to be successful. That's 100% wrong. I do have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I graduated from Polytechnic University. What did that degree do to me? Or what did that degree do for me? 
It gave me background knowledge, but that's about it. Everything I achieved in life is not because of that degree in any way, shape, or form. I do have a video about colleges, education, and school. You can watch it. I'm not against education, but I'm against impractical education. Teach practical stuff. They give you unrealistic scenarios that you need to solve in school. And all the student cares about is, I want to pass that exam so I can get my degree. I want to pass that exam so I can get my degree. Once he gets his degree, a few weeks later, if you go to that person and ask him a question in mathematics or physics or chemistry, he's going to tell you, I forgot. I went to school, I graduated, I got my bachelor's degree. I came out of school, I know nothing. I know nothing about reality. A school does nothing but program you to work for somebody. You cannot use your brains. You do what they tell you, nine to five every day. Very nice, so we got some nice round joints, thanks to the solder mask that we added, the UV mask. If it wasn't for the UV mask, then solder would have spread all over. Like I said, not a big deal, but just for the looks. All right, we're gonna flip the board. And I just wanna check if solder made its way all the way to front of the legs, and perfect. Look at the solder. It saturated the hole and it made its way all the way to the top. All right, and we are done. I'm gonna hand the board over to Big Bus to reassemble and test and I'll be back to finish the video. Let's check on Big Bus. That's the HMI connector that we replaced. Blue light is on. The fan is on, it did not go off, no signal, yes, yes, we're done, the console is working, wow, amazing, amazing, all right, thank you big boss, the boss of all bosses, we're going to end the video right here, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video. I have another PS5 board that I will be working on next and this one is a huge mess, look at this, we have rip pads, so another board that had a prior repair attempt. You watch a video and you think you can do it, if you do not practice or have the right tools, you're gonna end up with something like this. Now it's gonna cost the customer a lot of money to fix. Maybe I'll do this in a separate video.